Azerbaijan has stated that its military operations in Nagorno-Karabakh has been ongoing for the second day, initiating what it calls an anti-terrorism operation in the enclave. They claim they will not stop until the ethnic Armenians of Karabakh surrender. Tensions in the South Caucasus have been high for several months over the breakaway region, internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan. The last time Azerbaijan and Armenia fought was three years ago. In a statement made on Wednesday morning, the Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan stated that military equipment belonging to the Armenian armed forces had been neutralized, including military vehicles, artillery, and anti-aircraft missile systems. Authorities in Nagorno-Karabakh claim that since the start of the offensive, 27 people have been killed, including two civilians and many others have been wounded. Baku has declared its readiness for negotiations but insists that illegal Armenian military formations must raise the white flag and assault their illegal regime. The Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan announced on Tuesday that it had launched an anti-terrorism campaign in the region, an ethnic Armenian enclave internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, and the cause of two wars between the neighbors in the past three decades, with the most recent one occurring in 2020. Gagam Stepanian, the ombudsman in Nagorno-Karabakh, stated that at least seven civilians have been killed, including two children and at least 35 people have been injured during the operation after media media and local authorities reported heavy shelling of the regional capital Stepanakar. Russian peacekeepers deployed to Nagorno-Karabakh under the terms of the 2020 ceasefire were tasked with preventing new conflicts. However, Moscow is accused of being unable of unwilling to intervene to protect Armenia, its long-term ally in the face of ongoing aggression from Azerbaijan. Authorities in Karabakh have stated that they have requested immediate talks with Azerbaijan amid the ongoing shelling of the region. In a statement, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said the United States is deeply concerned by Azerbaijan's military actions in Nagorno-Karabakh and calls on Azerbaijan to immediately cease these actions. The authorities of Nagorno-Karabakh have announced a ceasefire following a proposal by Russian peacekeepers. They have reported agreements that include the withdrawal of remaining Armenian units and servicemen from the deployment zone of the Russian peacekeeping contingent. The disbandment and complete disarmament of the military forces of the Nagorno-Karabakh Defense Army, the removal of heavy equipment and weaponry from the territory of Nagorno-Karabakh for their prompt disposal. After a series of battles, both sides had attempted ceasefire agreements, but each time they were violated. Two months into the armed conflict, Armenia and Azerbaijan, with Russia's mediation, reached an agreement to cease hostilities in Nagorno-Karabakh. Nagorno Karabakh surrendered to Azerbaijan. Be sure to subscribe to this channel like this video to stay updated on the most interesting and popular news as one of the first to know. Your subscription is essential for continued viewing of our videos on this channel. Thank you.